Hi, today's tutorial is gonna be about daylight calculations, apertures and cuts. So let's get started. So whenever we need to calculate the daylight, we go to light here and then go to light scenes and then you go to reference sky type and then you go and choose one of these. I mean clear sky, average sky or overcast sky because the no light, the no daylight here is for the artificial light. So let's choose, I mean the clear sky here. And then we can choose the time too. I mean the time of the year. It can be like, um, I don't know, um, February the 10th. And we can choose the daytime here. For example, let's make it um, 5 p.m. and the location is very very important when it comes to daylight because um, I mean let's go here and change it it is in the construction tab in this site I mean in this tab here let's make it for example I don't know Casablanca Morocco yes and look at this longitude latitude and these elements here change depending on the position of, I mean, your city on, on Earth. So, um, we also need the, I mean, the north arrow because it is, I mean, very, very important to, because it is the thing that tells dialogues that this is the north or maybe here or maybe here. But well, let's make it something that, like that. Here is the north. It is there right now. Okay. So once we did this, I mean the location and the north arrow, we need to see, I mean, we need to, um, to be able to run the calculations. But why aren't we able to run the calculations? Because actually we have no aperture, okay? So if we go to construction tab here, if we go to apertures, we choose a window like this one for example and right now we have the the right to start the calculations okay with apertures we can start the calculations but let's delete this one here and let's go to cut out tool let's for example say that we need a cut out like this in our building and then a cut out like maybe a circular one here like this and then another cut out here let's say we need these cuts in our I mean our building our room etc and I mean like we go here and we cut them we cut through the walls etc but then if you take a look here we cannot start the calculations why because dialogues doesn't recognize these cuts as apertures they are cuts i mean in the i mean external walls they are not like apertures in the internal walls the dialogues recognizes them as i mean um like cuts you know and light can can go through them etc but i mean for the daylight to go inside through these cuts here it's not possible and the proof is that um, we cannot run the calculations and if we go and add a window here we have the right to do it so I will do a little example now I will delete this one and create a new room something like that for example like this and then I will give this here a window so now I am able to run the calculations I will do it and we'll see what it's gonna give so look at this on here we have the daylight and here we have nothing we have this light that comes here because of the daylight that comes here because as I told you Dialux takes into consideration, I mean, the cuts, the inside cuts, but then the external cuts, it doesn't take them into consideration. So, 
we have this here and on here we have I mean it's dark but then we have a little light that comes in through this I mean round cut here okay now what if I need these cuts here I mean to I, I need light to come I mean to go in um, through these cuts the way to do that is so easy we just need to I mean to delete those cuts one by one yes like this and now I will um, replace those cuts by windows any kind of windows you need you can use them like maybe this one here maybe this one is kind of a door or something I will um, move it down here and I can scale it up like this and like this and the second step is to give it like um, the minimum frame width let's make it zero and then it's gonna go to 0 0.001 which is one millimeter and now it is like this the frame is very I mean like very little that we can see it very much the second step is to delete I mean this glass here and the way to do it is by going to facade elements and you click on this arrow here and you go down to no glass and you have no glass same thing for I mean for the the cat we had here okay not here here I will go and pick this window what well, maybe this one here this round one I will make it let's make it two by two I'll move it a little bit down and then I will make the frame width the I mean the minimum possible and then I will go to the facet elements and then no glass and then maybe here I need another cut like a rectangular cut I will pick this window here I will just throw it like this I don't need to be concise because it's just like to give you I mean to show you how to do it and then I will make it zero here again and there is still the glass I'll go here and then no glass and now I would be able to run the calculations now we have this this is just perfect you know compared to the to the first thing we did I mean like the cuts and stuff that didn't work this is just the perfect way to do it so I hope this video helped you please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't done it yet see you in the next video